I'm constantly getting asked by you guys to do a garage tour, and up until now I haven't because this is the current state of my online garage. I did a top 10 list when this game came out back in early 2014, but there's been a huge amount of vehicles added since then via DLC. I've also spent a considerable amount of time with the game since then, so my opinions on a lot of cars have changed. So I figured the best way to showcase what's in my various saved garages in story mode was to update my top 10. So here we go, here's my 2015 top 10 rides in Grand Theft Auto V. The first car in at my list at number 10 used to actually be number 4 and it's dropped a fair bit you might say. The Sabre Turbo is still an awesome car and it's one of the best muscle cars in the game in my opinion. The thing that I liked about this car originally and the thing that keeps me coming back is the amount of mods that this thing's got. And even though it's dropped a fair bit on this list, it's still been in my permanent collection since day one. So that's why the Sabre Turbo is number 10. One of the many new entries on my list is the Dinka Jester race car. The regular Jester is awesome, it's fast, it handles great and it's got a huge amount of awesome mods. But the race car just takes it to another level. Someone actually told me that the race car isn't as quick as the regular Jester, but either way, I think it looks pretty damn sweet. Coming in at number 8 is the Sentinel XS. Now this is actually the same position it was last time. I still love this car, and that's partly because it's based on one of my favourite real life cars, which is the BMW M3. Like the Sabre Turbo, it's got a huge amount of awesome customization options. It definitely isn't the best handling car and it's not all that fast even when it's modified, but the Sentinel XS is still a solid 8 on my list. This is another car that was in my original top 10, although it used to be number 6. I find that the Sultan is always the car that I go to when I just want to goof around, and its four-wheel drive makes it an excellent all-purpose vehicle. So that's why the Sultan RS is my number 7. The previous number one, How You Have Fallen, but it's still on my list. The Karen Futo is a classic. Arguably the best drift car in the game, and when it's fully modded it looks pretty damn impressive. The reason why it's not higher on my list is I don't drive it all that much. It's more of a showcase car, it just sits in my garage so I can look at it every now and then. The T20 by Progen. Possibly the best looking unmodded car in Grand Theft Auto V. And that's definitely a good thing because it doesn't have all that many customization options. I think if it did it would definitely be higher on this list. I also think the sound is a little underwhelming. Maybe it's just because it looks so good that I expected it to sound much better. But as it is, the T20 is my number 5. At number 4 we have the Coquette Classic. This too is one of the best looking stock cars in the game, and the customization options that it has allows you to make it look absolutely amazing. It also sounds great as well, and the fact that it's based on the Stingray with traces of the Shelby Cobra definitely makes it a solid number 4 on my list. Top 3 time, and it's the Sterling GT. In my opinion, this is the best sounding car in the game. And like most of the cars on this list, it's got plenty of customization options, including some pretty sweet, unique stuff that other cars don't have, like the spare tire. This has to be my most modified car. Pretty much every time I drive it, I need to take the Los Santos Customs and do something to it, because there are so many different ways you can customize this. Anyway, if this is not part of your personal collection, what are you doing? Now, a lot of people would argue that this car needs to be number one on my list. And I hear you, the Zentorno is definitely an awesome car. It ticks all the boxes, it's fast as hell, it handles like a dream, it's got a huge amount of customization options, and even stock it looks badass. No other car in my real life car builds has sparked such controversy in terms of which car people think it's based on. Personally I don't really care, I just think it looks awesome, and that's why the Zentorno is my number 2. There really isn't any other car that could be number 1 on this list. Why is that you ask? Because the late 60s and early 70s Dodge Chargers are my favourite cars of all time. I know I throw that statement around quite a bit, but if I had the money, I would go out and buy one right now. The Dukes is obviously heavily based on the Dodge Charger, and there's a ton of cool customization options, so you can set it up in pretty much any way that you like. Like most of the muscle cars in this game, it sounds an absolute treat. My only complaint is that there's no Bumblebee stripe in the paint options. So that's my top 10 rides as it stands in 2015. Who knows how many more DLC cars Rockstar has planned. And you never know, this list may continue to evolve into the future. Anyway, let me know what your top 10 cars are and how wrong my list is. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you later.